we're so excited to go back to America. It's hard living in another country. Pump it out. <laughs> Do these grays match? I need to know. Shh, don't tell Morgan. Karma. We don't mess around with mornings around the house. We like to start very calmly and peacefully. We have a lot of greens, our lemon water, our healthy breakfast, and now we're about to head to the gym. I'm going to run today, getting back into my running. We just finished our office and a little bit of our downstairs renovation last week. Check that out if you haven't watched that video yet. It turned out so good, like so much better than I ever could have thought that it was going to. I don't know who we think we are having a home office, but it's really nice and it's become a really nice separation between living and working, which has made such a difference just in the 24 hours when we've been using it. It gives you so much more motivation to have a space that's dedicated to working. So that's great. We are now going to prep for our trip to the US. So this is our last day in our house. We have a lot to do. We're so excited to go back to America. Like I said in our last video, it's been over a year since I've been home. It's time to go back. I also miss it. What are you most excited about? Vegan donuts. We haven't been eating sugar for like seven, eight weeks now, which has made us feel so good. <laughs> the first thing you say is vegan donuts. I think the number one thing that I look forward to the most is seeing a lot of our friends and family, but also just hanging out in places where we've lived and spent a lot of time. It's going to feel so different from the life that we've been living. Yeah, it's been really nice living in this little small town and kind of recharging our batteries. And we've been like branching out, had a wonderful trip to Amsterdam, we've been to Copenhagen, we've spent some time outside of our little bubble and our little nest here, but now I feel like we're really gonna get some solid like social and big city time. What do you look forward to the most with the US? This is a multi-layer answer. There's little things that I look forward to, like going to Trader Joe's and Target. <laughs> as surface level as that may sound, but there's also the aspect of like, I haven't seen some of my good friends in over a year. And although I don't have, my mom and my dad have passed away. I don't, we haven't really talked about that on this channel. So I don't have like my parents to go home to, which is hard, but I do have my brother and we have family in other ways. So I'm just excited to see the people that mean the most to us. Life is so precious, you know, it goes by so fast. Somebody can be here one day and gone the next and it's hard living in another country and just letting time pass and not going home for 15 months and barely speaking to my friends and my family really because the time difference here makes it so hard so yeah i'm most looking forward to seeing the people that mean the most to me is that a good enough answer for you yeah i kind of stole your answer it's okay all right, I'm procrastinating now. I need to go run a 10K before we leave. Let's go lift some weights and run some miles. Someone's having a field day with parking here. It's not good at all. <laughs> so busy. Thanks. Peace. Just finished my workout. I only ran for 30 minutes, so I did 5K. There's been a whole thing at our gym that you're only supposed to run like 20 minutes on the treadmill so I try not to take up more time than that lately because it's been busier. So yeah, I'm just finishing up. Will is still going. I think that's him. Pump it out. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, that was a... Are you finished? Yeah. So, we're back from the gym and I'm about to go outside and paint some some little things that needs painting before the winter time, just protecting that wood. And also, I've just like pushed it aside and procrastinated and haven't done it for the last couple of weeks, so that's why I'm doing it now as well. But, shh, don't tell Morgan. 
Is there anything better than showering and washing your hair? I don't think so. There's so many things in our house that need to be sorted out today, but we're washing our sheets right now, so I need to make the bed in our guest room. This is the current status of <laughs> our room. It's a nightmare. We're gonna have multiple people coming to the house and staying here. Sheets need to be clean. Then I'm gonna call one of my best friends who's living in Japan right now, make a shake, and I need to edit one of our videos that we're releasing next week. I'm gonna spend a couple hours on that. I can't think off the top of my head right now what else needs to be done. Probably should have made a list, but I didn't. <laughs> Wow, hello light. I need to finish packing. I've just started narrowing down what I want to bring. We literally have laundry drying in our living room. I have so many clothes in the US right now. I want to bring those clothes back here. I want to bring some of them back here. And I know there's like almost probably an entire wardrobe for me to like live in when we get there. But I don't necessarily know exactly what is there. We're both trying to pack in a carry-on. But we're going to the East Coast first. We're making a few stops along the way, like we're kind of going east coast to west coast. Plus we're gonna be in Gothenburg for a while, so I need stuff there. We're really trying to clear out everything that we have in our fridge and in our pantry and not let any food go to waste while we're gone. Feels like we eat this like probably three times a week, but I just made leftover Indian dal that we've honestly been eating for like four days. <laughs> With some rice and mango chutney. All right, it is a couple hours later. I looked outside and I'm like, wow, it's really getting darker earlier. So I think we're leaving at a good time because it's about to be dark winter here in Sweden. I've just been editing for the last few hours. I really am enjoying editing nowadays and so time just goes like that. We have a Zoom meeting in like an hour from now and then we're gonna have dinner and I feel like there's still a million things we need to sort out in the house before we leave tomorrow. getting out of the house always so difficult. I have so much makeup on this bed. Wow. You think you prepare enough in the night before so that you can just get up and leave in the morning and then you get up in the morning and there's like a million things to be done before you leave the house. We didn't film last night because we suck at filming at nighttime. Now I'm filling our water bottles because we don't travel without about 17 hydro flasks. I'm gonna make a shake because just in case, what if we're hungry? It's a four hour drive. We already ate breakfast, we packed lunch, but what if we get hungry? Hi everybody, time to head off. We got echinacea in the hydro flask. Gotta keep your immune system strong nowadays. Just kidding, you need to always keep your immune system strong. It's very important. Um, what else, what else, what else? I have about seven layers on. Do these grays match? I need to know. Also, <laughs> the kajama has already been brought down to the car. And I was gonna make a kajava protein shake. So now we're left with bananas and oat milk. What should I do? Baby. Yeah. The cachava made it to the car before it made it in the shake. <laughs> I could just blend bananas and oat milk. I'll go get it. <laughs> there was no communication on that. Part. Well, you didn't ask me. Problem solved. I think I'm gonna add strawberries to this because it looks rather boring. That looks a little more interesting. That looks lovely. We're leaving the house nice and clean. I love it when it's clean like this. This is obviously not the reality, but it is nice every once in a while. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. We're glad you're here. Thank you for following along in our lives, and yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, do. Bye. Oh, hey, back from the gym, and now I'm gonna just tidy up some and There's a bug on the ground. What's new? Pew, pew. Why is this a new oat milk? Did we finish the other one? Yeah, I did yesterday when I had cereal. And he almost just tripped on my foot because it's called karma.